Ok, back to Fallout. I'm just gonna wait here a little bit and check some stuff out. See if I have sound. Back to Fallout. Yes, I do. That is wonderful. I did do a few things to the game, and one of them being. Oop, not that. Can I see my folder here? Yep. I installed this from the Nexus uh, mode man no, mode manager. The Nexus. Okay. It's a fake full screen for Fallout, and it bas basically keeps your game in windowed mode. So that makes it easier and more reliable to alt tab out of it without the game breaking. So in regards to the crashing, um, if I enter, I'm gonna show you when I, when I leave. I basically went through the market and went around through the science lab to get here, but it seems that it's not working out for me so well. So let me start the game again. I don't think I can stay in this in those cells for too long because the game will break. And that is not cool. basically gonna show you what I did. I did make a safety of I see that that doesn't help me very much. Uh, so I don't think I'll be spending any more time than I need to in those cells and get the hell out of there before my game breaks. Hey. Welcome to a quick fix. Okay, so I came out here outside of Rivet City and I'm basically gonna wait until the market opens. The way I did this, so the game wouldn't crash on me, let's go f all the way around through here. Let me or a security officer know. Stay away from me. Uh, let me do this first. I. S if you, you see anything okay. out there, she was uh, usually in the common room. But if I go there, the game will crash. Oops, I didn't mean to come here. What I do Have a seat I anywhere, do. someone will be with you in a minute. Just go around hey. through here. And find the way to the science lab. Science every we see the clinic. I wonder was that that way. I'm looking for trouble, but I'm gonna to explore this area, area later. So I won't stay in the science lab. Just head through here to the Capital Preservation Society because I want to get the quest and basically do this. some stuff break into his terminal terminal locked out well, great don't give a shit I can fix this key you have been caught medical brace removed and it crashed again okay Hmm. It worked better a minute ago. Um, let me just start the game the old-fashioned way. Oh, it still starts like this, huh? Hmm. This looks odd. 
me try and do this part again. Ah oh, man, I gotta change the title. Can I? Yes. All out free questing. All out free update. Change is saved. So this is annoying how the game looks right now. <laughs> But if you will get me past this part, I will be very happy. So basically this guy has a bunch of cams in his room. A reminder. Work is rewarded. Sloth is punished. Such what? is the way we thrive in this hellish place. What? Who's saying that? Carton of cigarettes. Who is saying that? Um. Hey, you know what? If I can get past this part with a game looking like this in a window, I'll take it. You know, did I talk to this guy? Dude, you see you later. Okay, hmm. marketplace up oh, crashed again. Hmm. This is awkward. Awkward. Let me rename this. One. The game still still starts like this. the game to start like that I don't like how this minimizes all of my windows definitely don't like that let's try this save again um. So I got everything I needed in here. I'll just try to leave. Yes, that's luck. And yes, I can see you. And what is this? Bridge Tower, the Weatherly Hotel, Capital Preservation. Okay. Let me do some stuff here. Do that. Do that. And do that. And I'm good to go. Um, let's see if he still crashes while I explore the, the upper, upper and lower floors here. The Weatherly Hotel and the River City Clinic. Bridge Tower. Okay. Let's go to the Weatherly Hotel. See what's around here anyway. Bannon's door, very easy. Hey, I'm always down to go into people's rooms. Don't mind if I do. Come on, dog meat, get in here. Bannon's terminal, wardrobe, empty, empty. Okay, so maybe I can find stuff on his terminal. Hmm. 
Satisfaction Sending 4 out of 7 Warning That has 3 Denying That has 4 Oh, that has, that has 5 Running That has 4 Warrior Massive Bandits Letting Letting has 4 5 Melting uh, Melting has 5 Let's see if I can get some more tries here Hopefully I don't get locked out But I think it's uh, the melting. Oh, here we go. Allowance replenished. Let's try melting. Yay! There we go. View agenda. Council meeting. Agenda. For next council meeting, fence on the flight deck, taxes, gate tax, water tax, weapon contribution program. Council mini meeting minutes. Uh, science rep, science rep, Dr. Madison Lee, civilian rep, Bannon, security rep, Harkness. Bridge repair continues to be a drain on funds. Permanent bridge considered, but it is dismissed as too risky in case of attack. Bridge tax for non residents proposed by Bannon, vote fails. Hydroponics and city health continues well, thanks to the efforts of Dr. Lee and her scientific team. However, system breakdown breakdowns are commonplace, requiring much maintenance. Lee proposed recruiting the uh, other scientific minds from Tempeni Tower or Underworld. Both fails. Attempts to clear our to clear out the mire lurk infestation in down below continues as usual. Harkness and team is able to contain them and occasionally wipe them out. But they continue to nest in the area, posing a theoretical risk if they ever turn aggressive towards higher decks. Okay. Council agenda. I've got the council agenda now. What's in here? Young's door. I'm gonna just pick lock everything. Lock pick everything. Oops. Nope, too little. Oh, someone's in here. Who's this? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Okay, I'm out of here. Science lab, the Weatherly Hotel, River City Clinic. Nothing down here. Bunch of filing cabinets. Secret, secret shotgun shells. That's what I'm talking about. Flanking chaperone's door, I cannot open that. Ridley Hotel Marketment Science Lab, River City, River City Clinic. Hey! Hey! How are ya? I'm on duty, make it quick! I'm tracking down a guy named Pinker Pinkerton. Do you know where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. The bow of the ship, okay. Kinda lost, can you help me? I'd like to report someone, see you later. Bye. Dr. Preston's door. Do I have any books on me? Chinese, I cannot read that. Uh, Paradise Lost, I cannot read that. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. Patient. He has one. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Okay, you're a doctor, right? I give you some help. Can you give me radiation and medic medical supplies? You know of someone named Pinkerton? Pinkerton, eh? That name takes me way back. Claimed to have cured radiation poisoning. Oh. Or was it food poisoning? I don't recall. He was always telling folks that he founded Rivet City. All he did was break off the front of it. Or did he die there? I don't recall. 
you got any cams? This place looks pretty easy to rob. You have any problem with thieves? Do you know where I can get some monkey? Okay, history. Don't get any cute ideas. Security is j now. If you've got any medical issues, history. Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. Don't let my age fool you. I. Okay. Goodbye, doctor. Goodbye, doctor. So. That's the way to the science lab. Not gonna go there just yet. Let's see about this Weatherly Hotel. Who's this? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Have you heard any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to Ken's. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. So, are there any f f fun rumors? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. Oh. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. Oh. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. <laughs> what? Any other rumors? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, oh, man. just staring out over the city. Uh, what do you have to eat? How much for a room? Vera, your nephew Brian, lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. Nice. I think Brian will love his new home. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Hey. Welcome back, sir. Uh, do you know anything about history? What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. Yeah, you But hear we're the safe noise. here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. No super mutants or raiders, and maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm still paranoid about the mic not working. Um, what do you have to eat? How much for a room? What's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart though. Real smart. Real smart. Okay, so long, Vera. Farewell. Who is this guy? Mr. Buckingham. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Okay, Mr. Buckingham. What do you have to eat? Who's your owner? Rust Bucket? <laughs> That's mean. What is this place? How much for a room? That's all. Can I get in here? Can. Naval. Cut. Oh, I thought it would. I thought it said coat. And I. I was thinking that's kind of odd. Can I access this? Nope. Because they will shoot my ass. Um. So if I go here. What is this? Marketplace. Marketplace. Hmm. I do want to get to the science lab to speak with Dr. Lee. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? <laughs> the one-liners. Dr. Lee's door. I think I need some more lockpicking skill here. I'm gonna uninstall the EME boost. I keep getting these hiccups. I don't know if, if I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. Let me do a save here. You there! What oh. are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? 
Uh, what exactly are we talking about here? To the point! I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Have you now? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? Oh. All you know of robots guy. are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Handshakers. Well, <laughs> that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, oh, man. programmed to think and feel and do whatever we for. need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Uh huh. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense! <laughs> this is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your yeah. mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. Red turtle. He Thank must have done follow. something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. Hmm. I'll handle it. Okay, Dr. Zimmer Pants. I'll be compensated for my services, right? I'm not sure how it's up to how it is up north, but around here we get paid for our work. Is your wallet big as your mouth? <laughs> how quaint! Of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. Mm. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Okay, why not? Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. <laughs> He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like fake breathing. Skin and blood. They can even eat and digest food realistically. So, doesn't that make them kind of human? Any suggestions? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a Dr. doctor, Preston. after all. Now, what? if you'll excuse me, I'm busy all. trying to ignore my surroundings. Okay, Zimmer boy. History, he doesn't know about River City. His memory transfer was done by a tech named... I'm not gonna tell him that. The person who did the surgery and the reprogram is here. His face job was done here. If this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. Hmm. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him... I want him. End of story. Okay, Zimmer boy. Tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to undeveloped comprehend what mind. we've accomplished. Excuse me, sir. 
I got nine intelligence. What are you talking about? Do you know the history? No. Uh, I'm not gonna tell him anything about. Okay, why would an android feel guilt? Come on, little man. What are you? What aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know. If it helps you locate my property. The duty of my this property. particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Hmm. Machines start to think for themselves. Fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Not really. So if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, what? easily replicated. He's got an escort ah, android. But A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321? He is irreplaceable. Okay, I gotta go. Of course you do. So that's an android. <laughs> Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. I don't think so, buddy. Highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. Henry Young. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. You go, Henry. The wastewater in the hydroponic What's this guy? Please excuse me. Okay. Okay. I'll check it out before the end of the day. Um, I don't like this hitching going around here. I don't like it one bit. So, let me delete these EMB files and see if that helps me out. Oops. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, Hello? seems smoother now. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Kaplinski? Botanist. What do you need? I'm looking for my father. What do you know about Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass? Nothing. Oh. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. Yeah. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. Okay. Know anything about River City history? If it hasn't got to do with the science... Okay, I'm looking for my father. I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I... She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. I will. So long. So long. This is Dr. Lee. Who's this? Hello. Anna Holt. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> She's flirty, this one. What do you know about Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. But her yeah, face... Yeah, great. They can't mm. even keep tabs on their robots. Can I get a drink? Preferably somewhere clean. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Oh, okay. <laughs> See you later. Let's talk to the good doctor. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Do I know? You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Um... You 
know my fa father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? No. I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. She's your mother as one. well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have okay. to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Ooh. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? Can you tell me more about my parents? I'd like to know a bit more about you. Tell me about the project. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Uh, what was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Hmm. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. Oh. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we That's could handle kind of already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Great. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, huh. and he left. He left all of us. Once he She's was gone, mad. the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. The Brotherhood? Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Let's talk about something else. Okay. What is this lab? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Um, what do you know about Zimmer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. You ever heard of someone named Pinkerton? That idiot? Huh. Idiot. He left so long ago, most folk don't even remember him. He claimed to have found a secret stash of technology somewhere in the ship. Then he just disappeared. Hmm. What kind of place is Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. What do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. Hmm. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Lo and behold, the lab. I'm trying to find my father, have you seen? Can you tell me about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Um, I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was, well, she was a good woman, a very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I'm sure you did everything. You weren't prepared. Whatever. I'm not gonna be mean about it. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. What was my James? father like? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. 
He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... <clears throat> I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe, but I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? No. I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. This isn't above me. Now where is he? I left the vault. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Hmm. Where is he? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, where is that old lab? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest oh, of here. Really? Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Oh, I'm going, all right. Um, can you help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. Okay, I don't okay. have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Fine. Come on. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. You understand, I have enough to worry about already. Okay, doctor. Good luck finding your father. Yeah, 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 whatever. Huh? Um, I've talked to everyone in here. Make another save. Now, which way should I What's go? What's the big idea? What? What did I do? What's this? Is there anything to loot in here? A bone saw? Forceps? I need that for something. Oh, I can just take it? Okay. I need that to craft something. I don't remember what. But I remember I do need it. Mm, Capital Preservation Society Marketplace. Um. Common room. Uh oh. This is not the right way. Marketplace. Let's go to the church too. See what that is about. What's in here? Pork and beans? Why not? Do I have any water on me left? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Not even dirty water. Does Nuka Cola help with the first? So how much do I have? 13%. Let's see. Where is it? Oh. And it crashed. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't drink Nuka Colas. You will crash your game. Badly. Come on, stop minimizing all of my stuff. Oh shit, oh my god, thank you. Uh, back here, so I'm not gonna go to that area because it seems it has problems. Yes? Don't touch the vegetables, they're fragile. No problems to report, I assume. I'm gonna go through here. Hello. How are you doing there? Marketplace. Oh, sort of is that the same? The yeah, that's the same door. So if I go through that's here, the midship, midship deck. There's the problem area right here. 
so that's what I went. Hmm. Who's this guy? Diego? I think I heard, heard some rumors about Diego. Don't here. even think of breaking into that. Oh, chill out, Diego. I'm Diego, the acolyte for Saint Monica's. Who is this Saint Monica? Saint Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The Sunday sermon morning, will be huh? all about Saint Monica. Hmm. Um, who's the priest? Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father the holds services deck. every Sunday morning. Okay. Oh yes, Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. I'd like to make a donation? Do I? Not really. God bless you. Not really. Well, there he is. I am Father Clifford. This is St. Oh Monica's church. That face. Who is this St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Okay. What do you know about the history? Oh, it's not the past of the city that oh, I... Oh, great. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Uh-huh. Nice. I'd like to make you a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. I need to go. Oh, crashed again. Ah, man. Man. That's annoying. So if I have the borderless full screen thing, if I start it from... If I start the game from... Steam, it always shows the window border. Hmm. Maybe I can get past this area like this. Go, go, go. I am Father Clifford. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope doesn't work <clears throat> you know I think you can do without father Clifford anyway so it's Wednesday if you could Not move Sunday out yet. of the way, it would make things easier for all of us. Oh, shut up. Did you hear about the fight with Muddy Rudder last night? Hey, yeah, Bell's gonna let's, have to replace the cable Let's go for here. This Mitchick dev is always crashing my game, I don't know why. What's this? No, that's not the right way. Science lab. Marketplace that way. Hey. 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 All right, we made it. On the workbench too. Nice. Um. What would you like to create? Microfusion cells? I can make those? You need an energy flux kit to create this type of ammunition. Mm, forceps. I need two forceps for that? Get out of here. How many sets? Two of them. Hmm. So 
I do want to repair some stuff so that I can sell it. Uh, what do I want to repair? This? The double barrel shotgun. The M1. The assault rifle. How much for the... Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try and repair this one too. Oh, I can repair it with a Uzi. Um, I like the Uzi though. Hmm. I do have that. I don't know what to do here. You know what? Let me repair them like this. Let's see what we can sell here. Is there a problem? <clears throat> Do you know that Polly Cantelli is an addict? He's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Why did you all decide to live in a rusty old tub? No. Okay. Who's got guns? You got you have some yes, guns. Yes, that's This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Okay. This is quite a selection, but you're all in a lousy condition. Oh, but they're all in a lousy condition. Can I see what kind of guns you have for sale? Need to do some killing. Eh? Sure do, Flack. Yeah, they're in horrible condition. He has a fat man too. He needs cheap. It weighs a ton though. Let's see. Sell him that. The Magnum too, I don't use that thing. The assault rifle, that's not repaired. Oh, that's very... That's a low price for that. 31 for that. Fine. Do I have anything else that uses the, uh, that type of ammo? I really don't. Let's sell the Uzi. Hmm. Guess I'm keeping that one. What does he have here? Combat shotgun. What? Needler pistol? What is that? Needler pistol. I think that's from Wonders Edition. What else does he have? Does he have any schematics or something? Combat Armor Mark II Heavy. Arctic Combat Mark II Armor Heavy. That's expensive. Um, Microfusion Cells. He has a ton of those. What about... Oh, that's all he has? He doesn't have any... Any schematics. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Gotta go. If you need more ammo, this is where to... Okay, sir. Who's this guy? Dude, you got your... Okay, okay. Le Goodbye. Now, I think this guy knows about so the city's history. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Huh. Hmm. I see you are also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Okay. I'm here to do business. Is there anyone on the ship named Pinkerton? Now there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Never met the man myself, but rumor has it he helped found Rivet City. Oh. Some rumors say he died trying to loot the broken bow of the ship. The broken Others bow. say he joined up with the Enclave. Hmm. So you're on the city's council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Whoever this Seagrave is, you think he's a threat to your influence? 
A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Oh. Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Note added. Okay, Bannon. Wink. Uh... Could I ask you about Rivet City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. Oh when God. I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Hmm. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Haven't, uh, hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? That's just a technicality, really. This wasn't what you'd call a settlement until I whipped them all into shape. More of a camp, really. Hmm. But I suppose if you really care about what they have to say, you could grill some of the hangar deck rabble. Don't expect hangar a speck deck. of truth from them, especially not that bartending crone, Belle Bonnie. Huh. She tells the most disgusting lies. Okay. Precisely. After sponsoring the settlement and organizing the city council, I took my rightful place at its head. Oh, of course, we're all equals there. People yeah, would yeah. complain if we didn't at least say that. But you and I know better, don't we? Hmm. Um, do business? Straight to the point. I like that. What does he have anyway? Nothing of interest. Um, do I have any pre-war money? I do. One. <laughs> I get free caps for it. Give me a shout if you need it. I could hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix has something that will help you sleep. Cindy's got. This Cindy. is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Okay, Cindy. <clears throat> We've got... No, I don't want to buy anything. It's time for me to leave, Cindy. So your husband is an addict? He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. Hmm. Time for me to I'm go. sure you'll be back. At all kinds of good counts. I'll try that. Ooh. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. You got a T-51B? No. Then you don't have everything. <laughs> a what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. What do you have to sell? Baron tells me you're trying to steal his council seat. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. <clears throat> what do you know about Rivet City's history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And Pinkerton, he must have huh? left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. 
He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful though, ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. What can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Mirelurks used to nest and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place ship -shaped. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Enough. What do you have to sell? I've got a little... Combat Mark II Heavy. Energy cell, harmonica, motorcycle handbrake, portable laboratory, laboratory, infirmary, saraf, junk metal spear, I have that one, shotgun shells, steam gauge assembly, storm chaser hat, and a wrench. See you later! Alligator <coughs> Gary Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Hmm. I'm partial to Meyer Lurk cakes myself. Then you are in for a treat. Uh, did you know Polly can tell he's an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Hmm. Do you know anything about Rivet City's history? No. I should let you get back to your customers. Thank you for coming to get... I'll be right with you. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? What do you have? What is this? Why is this place called Gary's Gal Galley? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Do the men on the ship, would I ask you? They I better get going. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna explore the hey. upper deck of the ship first. Capital preservation. No. This is what I'm what I wanna be right here. So I went to the Weatherly Hotel. Time to go to the bridge tower. See what's up here. Bunch of guards. Everything looks okay here. Does it? Door to Rivet City. Wow. What a view. Who's this guy? Rock. Hey. Don't tell me your problems. Huh. Brock. What's up with Brock? Hmm. I think that's where Pinkerton's lab is. In the broken off part of the ship. Right? Man, this place is huge. Look at it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break here and I'll be back in about 10-15 minutes.